Oda Nobunaga, Oda Nobunaga, Oda Nobunaga. Hey guys, it's me, Lewd Anime History. As you might know, if you say Oda Nobunaga in the mirror three times, he's gonna come back to life and suck your toes. Anyway, Nobunaga might just be the most famous person from Sengoku history, alongside people like Tokugawa Ieyasu and Toyotomi Hideyoshi. So, today we're gonna be talking about not Nobunaga. Yay! But instead, we'll be talking about his dad. If you want a really good overview on Japanese history, I highly recommend the shogunate, who, uh, unlike me, doesn't make trash. Also, I'm gonna be getting to a lot of details because I'm a quirky person and I'm just so different from all the other channels. Now, this is my first video ever, and my first video in the upcoming series about Nobunaga's dad. So, I guess you can say I'm losing my virginity. Of which I haven't lost. Anyway, so, um, we won't quite get to Nobunaga's dad in this episode. Instead, we'll be talking very briefly about what happened before the time of Nobunaga's dad, and kind of setting the scene. So, if you like this video, leave a like. If you don't like it, don't leave a like. Um, if you felt like it, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Now, before we start, let's talk about who was Oda Nobunaga's dad. Well, his name was Oda Nobuhide, who was the son and heir of Oda Nobusada, the head of the Oda Danjushu family. What's Danjushu? Well, Danjushu was actually a court title from the Japanese court. And um, the reason why we call him Oda Danjushu is because people kind of inherit the court titles from their fathers, making each generation's head something like Oda Danjushu. Or like Takeda Kai no Kami. Kinda like that. You have surname, then you have the court title. And that's why we call them the Oda Danjoju clan. And in fact, indeed, Oda Nobusada and Oda Nobuhide were both called Oda Danjojus. Well, surprisingly, Oda Nobunaga wasn't actually called Danjoju, but Kazusa no Kami, which is really interesting, and I'll get to that one day. So, the Oda Danjoju clan was in the province of Owari, which was under the control of the Shiba Shugo. Shugo was the official governor of provinces. Under the Shiba Shugo was the Kiyoshi Oda clan, and under the Kiyoshi Oda clan was the Oda Danyoju clan. And so, was the Oda Danyoju clan weak? No! No, it was really strong, even extending its influence to neighboring provinces such as Mino and Mikawa. So, how is it so strong? Well, let's talk about it. To understand how the Oda Danjoju got so strong, we have to firstly understand how the Shiba got so weak. So, who is the Shiba clan again? Well, the Shiba clan was the head of the three Kanles. The three Kanles were the most powerful positions in the central political system under the Shogunate, and each Kanle had influence almost like a second in command to the Ashikaga Shogun. While the Shiba wasn't the strongest of the three military wars, not even as strong as some of the samurai dokolos below it. Its actual power lied in its political say as the head of the three Kanlays. But, because of this power exactly, the Ashikaga Shogun became interested in nerfing the Shiba clan, as the Ashikaga had been with like every other clan. So, in 1461, the tenth head of the Shiba clan, Shiba Yoshitoshi, was forced to adopt a relative of the Shogun, Shiba Yoshikado. Yoshitoshi already had a son, Shiba Yoshihiro, and the Shogun's intention was very clearly trying to push this Shogun favorite outsider as the next head of the Shiba clan. Yoshitoshi was, of course, pretty unhappy about this. So, naturally, when the Oni War broke out in 1467 and Shiba Yoshikado joined the Western Army, Shiba Yoshitoshi joined the Eastern Army and fought against his new adopted son. Now, in the Shiba capital, the province of Owari, there were two powerful Shiba vassals, the Kiyoshi Oda clan, an Iwakura Oda clan. While the Kiyoshi Oda clan helped Shiba Yoshitoshi, the Iwakura Oda clan helped Shiba Yoshikado, and the two factions fought throughout the Onin War. Aside from the raging civil war, the Shiba influence also deteriorated immensely as the Shukodai, the deputy governor of the Echizen province, Asakura Ujikage, betrayed his lord Shiba Yoshikado and declared independence, taking most of the Echizen with him in 1471. 
On the other hand, the last province of the Shiba clan, the province of Totomi, used to belong to the Imagawa clan, but was given to the Shiba clan due to the Ashikaga shogunate suspecting the Imagawa's involvement in a coup in 1419. The Imagawa attempted to resist the Shiba invaders but ultimately failed, and the Shiba took over Totomi. But, to the Imagawa clan, Totomi was his rightful land, and the Imagawa was insistent on taking Totomi back throughout the Onin War. The leader of the Imagawa clan, Imagawa Yoshitada, joined the Eastern Army and fought against Shiba Yoshikado by launching various invasions against Totomi. Things only got worse for the Shiba clan as the Shiba died of Totomi, Kai Toshimitsu, declared independence and joined the Eastern Army in 1475. But, Imagawa Yoshitada still wanted Totomi and actually kept on attacking Kai Toshimitsu despite the two being allies. Unfortunately for Yoshitada, he died in 1476 during his war against the local lords in Totomi. <laughs> Eventually, as the victory of the Eastern Army seemed clear, Shiba Yoshikado was forced to abdicate, allowing Shiba Yoshitoshi's son, Shiba Yoshihiro, to inherit the Shiba clan. And with this, the Shiko Dai of Totomi, Kai Toshimitsu, returned under Shiba rule. After the Oni War, the Ashikaka Shogun's influence greatly deteriorated, and the backbone of the Shiba clan, its political sovereignty based on the might of the Ashikaga, was broken. No one really cared about what the wards of the Ashikaga, and war became rampant as we enter the Sengoku, or the War in States era, of Japan. In the aftermath of the Oni War, the Shiba clan lost the prosperous province of Echizen, as it was forced to recognize the independence of the Asakura clan. On the other hand, it also saw destruction by war in its remaining territories. That's a lot of damage! The Shiba clan wasn't half the daimyo it used to be.